Hey guys, this is Chris, Tabletop Sports Delaware, and uh, I am showing you another one of my favorite board games. I uh, got this, oh, three, maybe four years ago, and it is Pandemic. Uh, it's published by Z-Man Games, designed by Matt Leacock, and it's, you know, it's, it's a really cool game. It's a cooperative game, which means all of the players are working together towards a common goal, which is wiping out four diseases. Let me go ahead and show you guys how to play, what the components are, and go over the rules. It's not going to be a long video, and then we'll have a second video playing the game. So here we have uh, not a big playing board, and it's got uh, cities all around the world, but these are some of the cards. You're going to have characters you can choose from. There are a lot of different expansions. Um, but each character is going to have a color, so they'll have a corresponding pawn, so you'll know who you are. Um, they have different roles, like for instance, the dispatcher can move other players' pawns as if it was their own. Get the permission of the other player when moving it. And as an, as an action, move any pawn to a city with another pawn. So, I mean, they can move places everywhere, their dispatcher. Quarantine specialists present, prevent disease cube placements and outbreaks in the city you are in and all cities connected to it. So they're like Dr. No. And there are other types of characters that you can have that have different powers. Uh, there's going to be a deck of cards. The cards look like this. And this is the infection deck. And there will be one for each city. And they will be set up on top of the board. You'll see a spot, green bordered spot that says infection deck. And another one that says infection discard pile. And then there is a, to the lower right, you'll see a player deck. And you're going to take, the 48 cities are going to have, I'll get back to these in a minute. Uh, the 48 cities are each going to have a card that goes in the player deck. Uh, there are also going to be event cards. And there are five in the base game. Um, this one, Resilient Population, remove any card from the discard pile in the infection discard pile from the game, you can play it any time. It doesn't count as one of your actions to play an event card, and it can be played during anybody's turn. So if there is a need for it, that's what these come in handy. And the last kind of card you're going to see in the player deck is the epidemic card. Um, this is going to... Uh, you're going to increase your infection rate so here, right now, it's going to be two cities get turned over for infections at the end of each turn. But once enough epidemics hit, now there's three. And if you're playing really difficult, uh, it could get up to four cities. I like playing the medium one. So there's like five of those in the deck. But anyway, we'll show you how the epidemics work. Um, but those are the cards that are in there. Uh, it also has some handy reference cards, which tell you what you can do on a turn. Uh, first is, let's see if we can get the focus better so you can actually read it, kind of. You'll be able to tell what it says as I'm reading it to you. Uh, I really got to work on that. But anyway, yeah. yeah, you know how it goes. Life of a Manual Focus DSLR. Uh, drive or ferry, which means you can move from one adjacent city to another. Um, direct flight, you can discard a city card that you have in your hand and fly to that city. And I'll show you that because that's Essen right up there. The home of the Essen Spiel games. Um, charter flight, you can discard the city card and move to any city from that city. So if you're in Essen, you discard that and you can move to Moscow or anywhere on the map. Uh, shuttle flight, move from a city with a research station to another city with a research station. These are research stations. These little things right here that look like little uh, white houses. And if you have research cities here, you can just move there. That is one action. Um, other actions, you can build a research station. Let's say you're in Essen and you have Essen in your hand. You can discard it and build a research station there. 
um, you can let go of the card so I can read it, you can treat a disease. So if there is a disease cube here, one action removes one cube. <clears throat> I'll show you how that's important. Uh, share knowledge. Um, if somebody else is trying to get all blue cards so they can cure blue, oh, let's do that better. Since I have it handy and it'll work, uh, let's say you are in Lagos right here. And another player shows up and they have four yellow cards. You need five of color in order to cure a disease. Well, you happen to have Lagos. You can give Lagos to that other player. That is uh, sharing knowledge. Give the card that matches the city you're in to another player or take a card from another player. So that can be done on either player's turn. As long as you're both in the city and one of you has it, it can go to the other. And the last thing you can do is discover a cure. At any research station, discard five city cards of that same disease color. And that allows you to cure that disease. Now you can further do this by <clears throat> eliminating all, after it's cured, eliminating all of a disease cube color from the board and the disease is eradicated. So if cities, yellow cities come up to be infected during the uh, infect cities portion, which we'll show that in a sec, um, then nothing happens. It doesn't matter who's there, who's not there. Nothing happens. Um, let's say that we have uh, two blue cubes right there in London, like so. And let's say that we have turned over London to be infected. Uh, sorry, we're going to do that. Three cubes. Three cubes is the most. That's a hot spot. Three cubes in London. And we've turned over London to be infected. <clears throat> it take, can't take any more cubes. What then happens is referred to as an outbreak. So first you're going to come over here and you're going to move the outbreak counter down one. And then you're going to put a blue cube on all adjacent cities. Spreading the disease further. So from London, Essen would get one, now it's got two. Uh, Paris would get one. Madrid would get one. New York would get one. <clears throat> if it was going to be a different color, like say it was Milan, Istanbul would get a blue cube. Moscow would get a blue cube. So if it had three black cubes and one blue cube that's not an outbreak because it's a different color it can take it but if it was to get another black cube then that city would have an outbreak um there are three ways to lose this game if you have the outbreak counter get all the way down to the skull and crossbones dead game's over um there have been too many outbreaks and everything is out of control if you use enough of a uh, disease cube color and it comes up and there are no cubes to draw in order to infect a city, then that disease is too far gone and you lose the game. Uh, the third way is um, the player deck down here. Once there are no player deck cards here to draw uh, during the draw two cards portion of the turn, if there's not two cards to draw, then too much time has passed and you lose the game. The only way to win the game is to cure, not eradicate, cure all four diseases. Once that is done, the game is won. Uh, this game is for two, three, or four players. And um, it's it's a really, it's the first co-op game I ever got, had, played, and I really do enjoy it. So let's go ahead and take this time and show you how to set the game up. Uh, <coughs> Alright, let's see. Uh, well, either way. Alright, let's do this. Let's put you back there. Let's get you guys. Oh, the rest of the character cards are over here. 
But yeah, these action cards are really handy. Uh, they're double-sided, so that way everyone can have one and have it a quick glance what they can do uh, on their turn. Uh, let's see what we have here. We have more cities. Uh, cities. Cities. That event epidemic. Okay. All right. So <clears throat> take all of your disease cubes and keep them close to the side of the table so they're easily reachable. Generally, if I got four players, I'll have uh, the person sitting over there do the blue, the sitting over there do the red, the person over here doing the black, and I'll do the yellow kind of thing, you know, but it doesn't really matter. But that's that. Uh, yeah, keep those handy. You're going to put that there. You're going to put um, infection rate there. You're going to keep all of your research facilities handy. And you always start one on Atlanta CDC. <clears throat> then you're going to take all of your city cards. Your 48 city cards. All different colors. And you're going to take your five event cards. First thing you're going to do is shuffle these up, mix them up from the last game, like so. Ah, they were showing the game set up. And then the second video is going to be a run through, so you can see how it works. Because that's what we do here at Tabletop Sports Delaware. We show you how to play the games. We don't just entertain, we educate. Uh, I sleeve the cards, it's easier to do them. Um, less potential shuffling damage. And you don't need to see the cards. The only cards in this are double-sided, are the, uh, <coughs> the uh, player aid cards. So let's do that. First... I'm going to pick two characters at random. I know the two I hope I get, but that's okay. Uh, we're going to have Dr. No and the Contingency Planner. The Contingency Planner can take a discarded event card and store it here. And then can play the stored event card. When he plays it, removes it from the game. Limit one event card on this card at a time, which is not part of your hand, but as an action can take it, <clears throat> but then plays it like he would play an event card. It doesn't take an action in order to play it. So we'll set those over there. Uh, let's go ahead. And now there are different difficulty levels depending on these epidemic cards. There are six. You can play super easy with four, uh, normal with five, or insano with six. I'm going to play, after this, game will last longer, let's play easy. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, I believe. Epidemic card. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Epidemic card. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. It'll be more than that. Epidemic card. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Epidemic card. 2, 2, 2, and 3. The purpose of this is so that way you don't have epidemic, epidemic, epidemic potentially stacking up three or four in a row. They're going to be one every so many cards. Um... So you take each of these, shuffle them up. I didn't deal four to the two, three to each of them. That's what I should have done. So I'm going to do that off the top. Just going to do it because I don't know what they are. So they're going to start with that. And contingency planner is going to start with that. Okay, now I'll mix these up. You're supposed to do that before you put in the epidemic cards. And then mix a little mixy. And that goes on the player deck pile right there. So this player deck, put it 
put it right there. Uh, mix a little mixy. I'll put that in there. these up like so think 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 alrighty so that goes like that alright so we have our starting players right there's oh, how about we Move that down there. We don't need to see this, so we can slide this over here. Just getting it ready, since I'm looking at it. Make sure everything is kind of where I want it to be. Now we can put that right there. Because, yeah, it, it's me, whatever. I want to do something. Well, we'll figure that out. Okay, anyway. So that is, and the starting, the players always start in Atlanta. The character, player whose character has the city with the greatest population goes first. Kinshasa, which is right there, has 9,046,000. And uh, that is higher than the highest death quarantine specialist has, which is Santiago, Chile, uh, 6,015,000. So the contingency planner will be going first. Um, as far as further setup, you need to infect cities for your starting infection. So let's do that. Let's scroll this down here a little so that way you can see what I'm doing with the cards. Try to get that focus in there a little better again. Eh, ish. Okay. So the first city, the first three cities get three cubes each. So London is going to start off. I never mix those up. Not that it would matter, but let's mix them up. Here, you need to shuffle the cards. I didn't know which ones were there, but eh, mix them up anyway. Because that's what you're supposed to do. Okay, so the first three cities pulled from the infection deck go to the discard pile, and they're going to get three disease cubes each. First is Mumbai, which is black in color, so it's going to get three cubes. Uh, the second is going to be Montreal, so it will get three blue cubes. The third is going to be Kinshasa which gets three yellow cubes. The next three get two cubes each. So that will be a Bangkok right there. Los Angeles right there. And Tehran gets two uh, right uh, there. And the next three get one disease cube each. Madrid gets circle gets a square. Algiers circle gets a square. And Washington D.C. circle gets a square. That is all of the setup for the game. And then we're going to start by doing the four actions that were described before, which are um. Let's see if we can just do this way, which are um, drive or ferry, move to an adjacent one. Now let's do it this way. Um, you're not going to be able to read it, so why am I doing it? I don't know, because I'm silly, because you can't read that. Well, maybe you can. Drive or ferry, move to an adjacent city. Um, direct flight, discard the 
city from your hand that you want to go to. Charter flight, discard the city you're in and go to any city. Um, shuttle flight, which means you can go in, back and forth in between research facilities. Um, build a research center, research facility. Um, six is treat disease. Uh, you can use that one action to remove one disease cube uh, in the city you're in. Share knowledge, which is where you can trade um, the city you're in, either by giving it to someone on your turn or they can take it from you on their turn. And discover a cure. Turn in five uh, disease uh, five cities of the disease you are trying to cure from a research facility. There's that's pretty much all the setup there is. So we're going to um, go ahead and call this a tutorial, I believe. So um, we will be back shortly, and um, we'll play some Pandemic. So thank you very much for watching our how-to for the game Pandemic by Z-Man Games, designed by Matt Leacock. And this is Chris, Tabletop Sports Delaware. Guys, thank you very much for watching, and keep on rolling.